YouTube! Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy, Red Mamba, back with another MLB video. I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone that supported my last MLB video. I'll leave a card in the top right if you guys want to watch it. It was a tipping, uh, tipping. It was a hitting tips video settings and all that. Teach you guys how to hit better and uh, the best settings to hit. Y'all went crazy on that video. I appreciate you guys so much for that. So here we are with another MLB video. Make sure I drop a like on this video. Try to get 100 likes on this video as well. That would be awesome. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best settings for pitching, in my opinion. These settings work the best for me, and since I know there's a lot of new people to MLB The Show 21 this year since it's cross-console, shout out to all my Xbox people. Drop an Xbox in the comments if you're from Xbox. Shout out to all you guys. So I'm going to show you guys my settings first, and then I'm going to give you guys some strategy of how I pitch, some pitching tips and stuff like that, how to like certain things to do when you're pitching when people are on base, and just some strategy on how to pitch better and some good strategies to use while you're pitching against certain people so um let's get into it let's get into the settings first all right so it's a quick tip for you guys whenever you guys do change your settings make sure you guys change it in the main menu if you guys have ever changed your settings in game and you're wondering why it didn't save for the next game that's why for for whatever reason i don't know why mlb does that if you change your settings in game for some reason that doesn't save i don't know why so um yeah just make sure whenever you guys do change your settings you go to the main menu right now the servers are down so i don't know if my settings will even change all right, so here are my pitching settings. I use meter. I know a lot of people use a lot of different pitching styles. A lot of people, I know a lot of comp people use pure analog. For me, it, it's just not accurate enough for me. I mess up too much with this. If you guys are trying to be a real competitive player, I would recommend trying to use this because I know a lot of the competitive players use this. Me personally, it's just too inconsistent for me. I can't get it down, so I just never really use it. But I know a lot of competitive people use this. And a lot of competitive people also use the new pitching pinpoint. I don't use it either. I don't, I don't, it, it's just too inconsistent for me. The most consistent pitching style for me is meter. Okay, so pitching view, this is a pretty big deal. I use strike zone just because when you use strike zone, when you guys can see me pitching, you guys can see I'm seeing what the batter can see. So when I'm pitching, I'm pitching as if I'm hitting. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. So I can tell which pitches are hard to see, which pitches are like easy to see, what, what pitch looks good from different angles, you know what I mean? So that's what I use. I use strikes and I like that the most. It definitely works the best for me. Pitching ball marker, this has nothing to do with pitching really. It just helps me, it helps me out a lot. I like it. Classic on is where it has those little arrows. So um, especially if you're new to MOB or or maybe you even play a lot. Like for me, I play a lot and, and there's some pitches that I, I don't know, like a screwball. Like I in real life, I've pitched, I pitched all the way up to high school. And um, my whole life, I've never even heard of a screw. Like, there's certain pitches I've never even heard of, or like maybe I heard of them, but I never knew like what kind of curve it has to the pitch. So it's cool to have classic on, so you can like see exactly wh where a pitch will curve. Because um, there's sometimes where you pitch a pitch, and it's like you don't understand exactly how it works, and you may not pitch it properly. You can see which pitches do what. Um, another good thing is when you get tired, it'll show you how much break your pitch has. So for example, if you're fresh out of the bullpen, your complete your energy is completely maxed out. You'll have like four arrows on your breaking ball. Um, but let's say if you're in the game for like two or three innings, your guy's a little tired. It's only going to show one or two arrows, so you can tell like, okay, this guy's getting tired. He doesn't have as much break on his pitches, so it's time to take him out. So other than that, I don't think any of this other stuff really matters. Um, this is what I have. The main things I would recommend is pitching ball marker on classic on, and then strike zone view for your pitching view. Um, and like I said, I use meter. If you're trying to be more competitive, I would recommend pure analog, but you know, I mean, meter works fine for me. I, I definitely play competitive games with meter on. So this is what I would recommend, especially if you're newer, this is definitely what I would recommend. All right. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about my strategies on what I do and some basic tips. So number one, when you're pitching, you want to make sure your bullpen is warmed up. I know some people don't warm up their bullpen or they don't know they have to make sure before you bring a pitcher in besides your starting pitcher, obviously. Whenever you go to bullpen, make sure you warm up your pitcher. Because if you don't, he's going to get bombed on. Number two, when you do go to bullpen, look who's batting up next. Typically, you want to have a lefty on lefty or a righty on righty matchup. So if you're if, if the dude you're going up against is a left-handed hitter, you want to have a left-handed pitcher nine times out of ten. It's harder to hit a lefty on lefty or a righty on righty. It's a lot harder to hit when you're pitching the same hand you bat as. So whenever I go to bullpen, normally whoever's batting first, like let's say it's a left-handed batter, I'll put in a lefty. Even if there's two righties up next, I'll put in a lefty just so I can get that first out against that left-handed hitter. But on the flip side, maybe there's a right-handed hitter up 
and he's not that good. And then up next, there's a good home run hitting left hitter, left handed hitter. Sometimes I'll put it in lefty, even though it's not gonna be the best matchup against the first batter, but it'll be a good matchup when the home run hitter is up. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just something you gotta look at whenever you do go to bullpen, you'll be able to see who's up next. And um, just, just, just you know, I mean, look at their stats, look who's a good hitter, look who's not, and then on, on that, evaluate who you wanna put in. Also, another quick tip. You guys can walk a batter by pressing L1 and circle on PlayStation. I believe it's, uh, what would it be? Your left bumper and would that be B on Xbox? I think, I don't know, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. So um, yeah, there's times when you wanna utilize a, a walk batter. There's a few times. Um, number one, if there's a home run hitter up, batting and you have no one on base or maybe you even have one person on base and the next dude batting is not good walk that batter don't even pitch to him just walk him um save yourself that home run and hopefully the next guy won't get a hit another thing you guys want to pay attention for is when the pitcher is up to bat normally the pitcher will be the ninth batter it just depends on how that person makes his lineup but nine times out of ten the pitcher is gonna be the ninth batter so for me nine times out of ten even if there's a really bad hitter up uh right before the pitcher i'll just walk that guy and then pitch that pitcher hopefully i can get to a double play or at the very least get a free out okay so a few things you guys want to stay away from i know this is kind of obvious if you play baseball but do not pitch any curveballs high in the zone all any type of breaking ball change up slider curveball knuckle curve whatever any type of ball that is slow that curves you want to pitch that lower in the strike zone or on the outside see right there i do a slider outside just make sure you guys never hang a breaking ball in the top of the zone or in the middle of the zone. You guys always want your breaking balls to be low in the zone. It's really, really easy to home, hit a home run when you guys hang a uh, a slow pitch. Like right there is a perfect pitch. A change up down low, that's perfect right there. Another thing you guys want to utilize and really master is your slide step, quick step, or fast pitch, whatever you call it. A lot of people call it different things. Essentially, all that is is a quick pitch to the pitcher. If you guys ever see me, sometimes my pitcher will pitch a lot faster than normal. Or maybe you go up against someone and you're wondering how he pitches so fast certain times. Look right there, that was a quick, that looked like a quick step right there. So to do that, all you guys have to do is hold your left trigger while you're pitching. So let's hold it all the way through. Just know your meter or whatever type of pitching style you're using is going to be a lot faster. It's gonna be a lot harder to time it, so just be prepared for that. It's gonna be a lot quicker. It's gonna be like twice as fast to uh, time it. But the reason you guys want to do that, there's a lot of reasons actually to use a quick step. Um, one of the reasons is, let's say there's a dude on base that has like 90 speed, 99 speed, whatever, something crazy. You guys want to utilize that quick step so you guys can. Um, it'll be a lot better. It'll, it'll be a lot higher of a chance of gunning out the runner. Um, it's gonna be a lot quicker pitch to the catcher, and you have a lot higher of a chance of gunning out the runner another reason to use quick step is just to throw off the timing of the batter sometimes when you get into a little pitching sequence the batter is going to understand your pitches and he's going to he's going to get the rhythm down he's get the timing down and you want to like right here is a good example I, I disrupted his timing bam shook him out he wasn't ready for that high fastball so i definitely recommend using that quick step definitely utilize that don't overdo it because you're going to be less accurate while you're doing a quick step so just do it every now and then maybe every other batter maybe once a pitch or once a batter whatever however you guys want to do it it's up to you on how you guys want to utilize the quick step but just definitely use it it's definitely a good strategy to use it definitely disrupts the batter and it makes them a little uneasy it makes them a little unconfident in what's coming Another thing you guys need to know too with quick step is not every single pitcher can do a quick step. When runners are on base, as far as I know, every single pitcher uses a quick step. There may be a certain pitcher that uses a wind up while they're pitching, but 90% of pitchers when there's runners on base, you guys can utilize that quick step. But yeah, just know, just know that every pitcher does not use a quick step in their wind up. A lot of pitchers just use a wind up. It's really slow. Some pitchers pitch really slow and it's horrible. But um, so just know that if, if you're trying to use a quick step and you're like, is this even working? Is it not working? It's probably not working. You'll definitely know when it works. You'll definitely be able to tell your pitch way faster. But yeah, that's all the tips I have for you guys. I think I named pretty much everything, all my strategies I use, some tips on, on how to pitch better. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you guys out. Before you guys leave, make sure you guys drop a like. It'll help me out a lot. If you guys enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be dropping a lot of MLB videos here soon. And uh, comment 
Comment strike out Mamba if you guys made it to the very end so I know who watched the very end of my video. Strike out Mamba, comment that so I can see who my loyals are. And Ayo, if you guys did make it to the very end, I appreciate you guys. Everyone have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.